pre-presidential Donald Trump was just like the Mark Cubans. Yeah, yeah, he was out there with the Snoop Dogs. Uh, he was. And the Martha Stewart's. <laughs> Black people love <laughs> Donald Leaks. Trump. Yeah, for Before real. it became Batman Orange and all of that, Black people, <laughs> listen, he was a staple in hip hop culture. Yeah. He was a reference point. We read his books. We studied him. He was hanging out with Robert Kiyosaki from Rich Dad, Poor Dad, <laughs> right? Puffy was taking pictures with him. Everybody loved him. And then all of a sudden, when he became president, he became Batman Orange. So I'll say this: uh, We had Mark Cuban sitting here uh, a couple out to months Mark ago, Cuban. but I feel like that conversation—that was a very easy conversation. Mm -hmm. But I feel that conversation will be different talking to a pre-presidential Donald Trump sitting here. Would you say that those two might be two different conversations? Probably same amount of wealth, you know, same amount of access, same amount of power. Mm -hmm. But do you feel like that might be two different conversations as far as approachability and access? What pre-presidential Donald Trump pre or post-presidential? Pre-presidential. Pre-presidential Donald Trump was just like the Mark Cubans. Yeah, yeah, he was out there with the Snoop Dogs. Uh, he was. And the Martha Stewart's. <laughs> black people love <laughs> Donald Leaks. Trump. Yeah, for Before real. it became Batman Orange and all of that, black people, <laughs> listen, he was a staple in hip hop culture. Yeah. He was a reference point. We read his books. We studied him. He was hanging out with Robert Kiyosaki from Rich Dad, Poor Dad, <laughs> right? Puffy was taking pictures with him. Everybody loved him. And then all of a sudden, when he became president, he became Batman Orange. That is by design. That is not based off of anything other than a manufactured event to then paint a narrative for the person that we loved and we supported way before he became president. And yeah. he was a phenomenal president on top of that. But more importantly, to answer your question, specifically, I think that he is the representation of that pre-presidential. Before he became president, he was exactly the representation of that. You know, you know, um, they talk about Donald Trump, right? And they was like, "That's my president right there." Correct. That's my and guy. They, uh, a lot of people are saying, if twelve, if you felt like twelve hundred dollars, mm -hmm. well, if you know, you must be broke or whatever. Whoop de whoop. And I'm like, but we had a president in here now <laughs> who ain't gave a nigga shit. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language. Facts. And y'all thinking he really. And this is y'all president. Mm -hmm. Like, why is it that we associate the people that do the least for us? We give them the most praise. Because it's all manufactured. 